There we go. And a thank you. <laughs> Want a drink? Oh, come on now. You don't know that old dusty, rusty barkeep's done drunk himself into a sleep. Just behind that counter there. So, I just went and helped myself. Could you blame me? Plus, he don't owe us for all the business we brought in. Come on, Bob. Fine. bothers you that much. You know I got the coin. He wakes up. I throw some his way, alright? So. Drink? Good. I thought so. almost gone. This must be the good stuff. You know he likes to hide. And after all, this is a cause of celebration. You done real good out there, Bob. I appreciate you. And between you and me, without telling the rest of the gang here, I heard a little tip in town. Yeah, about a possible heist. Between you and me, I hear it's a big one. Yeah. It's supposed to be some military, military grade, like, cargo train. Yeah, coming down Route 66. Mm-hmm. But we'll talk more about business later. It's time for celebration. So. Got one for you. There you go. And one for me. Well, I know you can't drink it, Bob. It's more symbolic. You could just pretend. We'll get you some oil or something later in town. Yeah, that's the spirit. So. Boy, howdy, it's rowdy in here. Don't y'all know it's about daytime? Tch. Sheesh. All right. Cheers to the only family I got and the only family I need. Well, I'll be damned. That old salty barkeep has been keeping up on us here. Yeah. This be the good stuff. He's been hiding it. Well, it's mine now. Ours now. <laughs> so. Why don't we go ahead and get started? He took quite a beating out there on the last one, Bob. But. Shouldn't be too hard for me to take care. Let me take a look at you. Hold still. Here. It's just as I thought. Took a couple bullet wounds here. But nothing too bad. Doesn't look to be affecting you mechanically or anything like that. Should be able to clean these up for you just to make sure things don't get and then maybe after this next big heist, we go into the next town and 
you have someone to repair your armor and some metal here. Sound good? Good. I should be able to take care of the rest. A lot smarter than I look. So. It's no problem. I know we don't get too emotional here and there, but I really owe you. You're my family after all. And I care about you. Let me take a look at you here. Why don't you go ahead and run some diagnostics, Bob? Let's see if there's anything in particular I should be looking at. Yeah. Good. Alright. Just as I thought. Doesn't look too bad. So, let me take a look at you here. Hmm. Yeah. Looks like there's some metal and some bits of debris in the back of the room. That way it doesn't get in there and affect any of those wires and make anything worse. Yeah. And down here, maybe a little bit in your arm and shoulder. And on this side. About the same thing. We got two bolt wounds here. One on the back, but that's not too bad. It's all looking pretty good. Good, good. Hmm. Focus right here, Bob. I just want to take a look. You're not noticing any specific issues or anything from the last one. Alright, Bob, I want you to try to stay still and just trace this light, alright? Just want to make sure everything's working proper. <laughs> you act as if I don't know you're strong. Stronger than anyone else I've ever met, Bob. So, I don't know what I'd do with myself if I lost you, so you just sit right there and you trace this light, alright? Alright, here we go. Doing mighty fine there, Bob. Good. Good, 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 good. Good. Just keep it going. I don't see any signs of issues or complication, so I think it's just as I thought. I'll go ahead and get those repairs started, and then we can talk business. Now you mean this? I see you looking at it. Sadly, we went through all that trouble, we didn't get much. Though I reckon these jewels in here would catch a fine penny. Check out these, Pa. Genuine pearls. Hmm. Wonder how much we can fetch for these. <laughs> no, that's nothing. I just remember my mom used to have something like that. Nah. Good riddance. They never cared about me anyway. Only you, Bob. <laughs> so 
Some people are lucky enough to be born into a good family that cares about them. They ain't none of them as lucky as me. So I got you, Bob. And I'm mighty fine with that. So, I'm trying to sell these the next time I'm over. See what we can fetch for them. There's also something else in here. I reckon I don't know that still. Hmm. So, we won't take any low ball offers. If I don't recognize it, it's gotta be Ray. I wonder what we could fetch for that. And then we just have a couple coins. A couple gold pieces and stuff like that. That'll cover our drinks. Since you're looking to pay. No. The next heist we're gonna need the whole gang for. Yeah. Mighty big for just the both of us, though. I know you and I can handle anything we put our heads to. So. Let's go ahead and get you fixed up here, Bob. Done thought I heard Cassidy. I man better watch out if I see his face. But I suppose we're gonna need his help on this heist. I don't know, Bob. Something about him just rubs me the wrong way. I'm not sure I can trust him. A bit leery. I suppose I'm a bit leery about anyone these days. But you know how it is. It's either my way or... <laughs> well, let's be honest. It's always my way. Alright. Let's see if I can get out this debris box. You don't hold still now. I have a couple tools here I'm gonna use to get it out. All right, let's start over here. Just gonna kind of look around here. Right. Yeah, we have a few bits and pieces. Looks like a bit of rubble, and maybe some debris from some explosives and some metal shots. We don't want those getting further in and cutting up your wiring. Hold still here while I just come to you some food. I'll try and be quick. After all, we got a lot to talk about. Plus, I kind of want to discuss it with you before we tell the rest of the gang here. the other side here. Just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Heaven forbid I could get one metal shot and then I cut his wire here. It affects how you see or how you hear, or how you track. 
We don't need that, especially not on this next half. one and drop up a little bit. Just don't want to miss it. Gotta get pretty close. And I think I got it. Alright. I think we might have got everything that we need. So we take one more closer look and make sure I didn't miss anything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, good, good. And one more quick look through your face here, yeah, Mom. Just don't stop. Looking mighty fine, Bob. Go ahead and stick out your arm here. Yeah, you had a little mark up here by your shoulder. I just want to take a look at it. Alright. Let's look inside this. And. Hold still. We got one big rock. Now that we got those removed, we can go ahead and tighten some loose bolts and should be all set till then. I reckon I can't fix up a metal hole, but like I said, I'll pay the next town over to fix it for you. Alright? Real good, Bob. Real good. Alright. Hold still here. Just tighten the screw here. Yeah, they've done all that. Well, you're looking mighty fine there, Bob. How are you feeling? Good, I'm glad. Well, now that we done got you all fixed up, we can go ahead and discuss this heist. 
Yeah, it looks good. I may not be able to fix that metal or anything, but we'll take care of it over in the next house. As long as it doesn't get worse. So, I heard a tip about a big heist coming through. So, I reckon I'm not sure how good the tip is. You know how these towns folk are. But, between you and me, I done heard a big military cargo train has come down Route 66 about high noon. I heard it's carrying some big grade A explosives and some other big money items. I suppose we could get the deadlock gang together, come in from different angles and flank it and try to derail it. Definitely be the biggest house we've had in a while. It could set us up for a, quite a few months. He's the kicker though. It's happening tomorrow. Yeah, it doesn't give us much time to plan, but nothing we can't handle. After all, we are the strongest around here, aren't we, Pop? She used to that. I suppose you shouldn't waste any more time. That's how it's gonna be. We're gonna have to let everyone know real soon. What say you, Bob? I don't thought so. Alright. Well, let's just get you cleaned off here. Don't need you walking around with any motor oil. Got enough holes and junk on you already. Hold still. Just make you a little bit more presentable. There you go. Just get you all cleaned up here, Pop. Bad Good, 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 good. Feeling good? You looking good, Bob. Well, I reckon we shouldn't be wasting any more time. Let's get going. <laughs>